Hello, my name is Carsten Bange. I'm the founder and CEO of Bark Institute and one of the authors of our new evaluation report called Bark Score. We evaluated business intelligence platforms and I would like to give you an overview on how we did it and what you can expect out of this study. We chose a two-dimensional format to evaluate BI platform offerings in the market. On one dimension, we evaluated functionality. So we looked at the full BI portfolio a vendor offers and then weighted and scored all criteria that we think are relevant for enterprise use of BI platforms. On the other hand, the second dimension, we looked at the vendor itself. So the capabilities in terms of marketing and market execution, sales and partnering, the financial performance of the vendors and the general market setup. So with these two dimensions, we get a short and concise overview how the different offerings in the market compare. What we think is very important is that we are not choosing a quadrant style here because a quadrant has an inherent weakness that's with minimal progressions in both dimensions, you can become from a leader to a loser and vice versa. So we think a five-segment approach is much more useful to see how vendors stack up and how the business intelligence platforms and the market can be compared. In these two dimensions, portfolio capabilities and market execution, you can see how vendors progress. So in the end, you see how they evolve through the five groups or classes we actually then form here. So coming from a market entrant, maybe a small vendor or a first startup offering in the market, how it evolves through the different classes to maybe become a market maker. But what's also important is we can see that there are sometimes very large, very powerful vendors in the market, but the portfolios do not really match the needs of companies. On the other hand, we have extremely interesting and very powerful solutions, but the vendors fail to execute. So they remain pretty small or are not getting their sales and uh, go to market strategy up to scale. So in the end, we can see the progressions of the different offerings in the market. But in both cases I just described, these offerings will never be in the market maker um, segment that we make up. So it takes a good portfolio, a good product for the end user, but on the other hand also a good execution in the market and both will lead to the leading solutions that we classify here. So in short and overview, we have a short and concise evaluation of all leading BI platform vendors. We have a short document that shows the graph but also the explanation of methodology on the scoring criteria and gives a quick overview on strengths and weaknesses. If you're interested in more information, we would invite you to take up our analyst inquiry offering so the analyst can explain to you um, how these scores were actually evaluated. And on the other hand, we have the BI verdict study that gives a lot of details on architecture, on the different criteria, how we rank them, but also includes the vendor, the, the customer verdict. So from the BI survey, the largest end user survey in the world, we took out the scores that the actual users of these um, BI platforms gave to the vendors. So with that, this is the much, far re much more far reaching um, explanation of all these scores, but the bug score itself can give a quick first overview and with that guide your evaluations and give you, gives you an overview of how BI vendors perform in the market today.